it's Michelle welcome to my channel grateful creations I this is a dried result now um, this was a pour over on a canvas it's you know level one so it's just a test canvas anyways but you can see a little bit of um, crack it's not really cracking it's just because it had texture on it before but I found um, all of these pigments they kind of melded into each other, which was not, It's that's fine, because it's because the paints are so thin. Um, you're not gonna get a true ring pour out of um, pigments that have, or pigments and paints that are thinned out that much. But I really like the effect. Um, that was one of them. This was the other that I did. And this one turned out pretty well, but once again, you don't get those defined lines. It's kind of, um, it's like a gradient, and I really like this too. Um, I just, I regret putting that rainbow, um, the rainbow alcohol inks on them, but I don't know if I can, maybe I could try and get that off, who knows. But I, I can't believe these little, tiny little, um, I might have dri dripped a, a little drip of water, and that's why I ended up with these um, fractals. So that's this one, and it dried perfectly flat. The cells are beautiful, they're round. Now this was with a formula that I diluted my cloud mix with um, Floetrol and Artis Loft Flow Acrylic White. And then I put more water in. The cloud mix wasn't so strong because I found that in the past it was taking over the whole painting, which isn't a bad look either. It's, it's just, I mean, once you mess around with things like this, um, you can find what works and what doesn't work. And that's exactly uh, what I was doing this afternoon. I have been spending the afternoon testing out stuff. Now this is TLP in uh, Enchantment and it turned out beautifully. Um, the, the Enchantment was mixed with Aussie Floetrol. I love little Liquitex um, pouring medium, the gloss medium, just so that it had a binder in it. But I think it turned out pretty well. This was done with all old cell activators, stuff that I was gonna throw out anyways. You don't have to throw it out, you can use it in this. It worked out pretty well. And this one, for some reason, the pigments were not in, in the, uh, ooh, there we go. This is that uh, Ruby from Modern Masters. That stuff is so awesome. But the pigments in these paints, now these were, these were paints I mixed up for this type of pour. And you can see the navy, it's all splitting. And this did not sell up at all. So I'm thinking when I use the American Floetrol, it does not sell up. Somehow when I use the Aussie Floetrol with pigments, it does sell up. So there's a lesson learned. Now, this one's one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna be pouring this tonight, these colors. Um, these were actually, it's the ruby red from Modern Masters that you can see in here. And this is rose gold from Full Cart Metallics. That's this one. And then what happened to the pure gold? It didn't react at all. And it's not just this tile. I did it on another tile too. The rose gold worked and the pure gold didn't. Same brand, different colors. Um, it's perplexing say the least it's just it, it's a kind of that's why I did all these tiles it's good to practice on tiles before you actually do it on a canvas and actually I'm going to be doing a, a practice canvas before I do a big one now this is the modern masters in English brown look at that and it did not sell up at all this was Golden's Cobalt Turquoise, and I mixed a little bit of Folk Art Color Shift in it. Nothing, absolutely nothing. 
and the consistency was, was spot on. It was right. So some paints work, some paints don't. It's just a matter of trial and error. Always best to try it on a smaller tile though. That way, I mean, even I'm not wasting anything. I can, I can wash these off. They can be used again. So, but what really, per, what was really perplexing was I mixed a little, this little piggy enchantment with just a dab of the Amsterdam acrylics that gave it a little body. And then I mixed it with Aussie Floetrol. And that's what I got. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So anyhow, enough show and tell. Oh, there's one more show and tell, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait a minute, there's two more show and tell. This was the Boom Gel. And I, I tried it with just the Boom Gel and it didn't work at all. I tried it with the recipe for this technique and it worked, but then it slid. It was, it was um, not level, but I kind of like what it did. It was kind of cool, but it's splitting. I don't know if you can see that the paints are splitting. So this might not be a good option. This is a tile I did and really like these effects. I mean, it's different. Um, this was the ballet slipper from TLP. Oh, I'm starting to see a little bit of flocculation on it. So, but once again, the teal did not work and that Modern Masters is the way to go. And of course, <laughs> it looks like it's being discontinued. Oh my goodness. Why does that happen to us? Don't they know that we need these things? Again, this was just a bunch I dumped on. Um, I don't even know what I had in there, sorry. But apparently some worked, some didn't. I covered the entire tile with lots of color though, so that's probably what happened. But it's looking like these pigments are not reacting well, and it's just, and then I see some splitting going on here too. Let me make the mistake so you don't have to. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and I'm gonna show you one more. Oh, it's not a tile this time. It is a dried result of one I did the other night. Oops, let me put it this way. Guys, I am in love with this. Are you kidding me? It dried perfectly. This was a pour over, but it was a pour over um, from a previous cloud pour. So, just look at the shimmer on that. It just, it's, oh, everything worked out really well. And this was the one that had the diluted cloud mix. So I only got a few cells, which is fine. And then I got some clouding going on here. And then I just put some branches in, branchlets, I call them. But I'm really super happy with them at this. I can't wait to varnish it, but it's gonna have to wait about three weeks, maybe less because it's cloud mix. But what do you think, guys? So it does work <laughs> most of the time. Okay. I found some practice canvases. Remember that first one I showed you that has a, a little bit of pock marks in it and stuff? That's because I poured it over one that had pock marks in the in the first in the first place. So this was just I had leftover paints and I just threw them on a canvas, and that's what I ended up with. I don't even know how I did that. Maybe like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was like this. But I'm going to pour over these just to test. I want, there's a couple of things I want to show you, and let's get started. All right, I made some more cloud mix today. Recipe I put in the original video is the one that works. And that was uh, four ounces of satin enamels, eight ounces of Artist Loft Flow White, 12 ounces of Floetrol, a splash of GAC 800, yeah, because I, I, 
there was a couple of them, they were too, too thin. Um, so the, I think the original recipe is the one that I'm gonna stick with. And then um, water, eight ounces of water it was. I actually measured it. So. And sir, these are old cell activators that I'm not gonna be using probably. Um, they've, been, they've been around for months. Let me just put it that way. And these are cell activators with the Aussie Flow Troll in it. So the other thing I've noticed with these pores, guys, is you have to work fast because once the cells start to develop, they um, they start move, they start developing, and you're still moving the painting. And when that happens, you end up with wonky cells. So no wonky cells. Now these look a little bit thick. Let me see here. Get stick. Yeah, these are a little thick. Well, yeah, they're making a mound. So, got my trusty little bottle of water. I had put alcohol in here once <laughs> by mistake. Oops. Oops, oops. So let's see how this turns out. Then I'm gonna, then I'm going to mix up one of the um, pigments for you. Yeah, this is still good. Okay. When you think it's, eh, it could, it's too thin, it's probably not too thin. It's probably not too thin. So you've got to really thin these guys out. So it's, I found the very first ones I was doing without a trace at all. This one has like a slight, the slightest of traces in the beginning, and then it just sinks right in. Um, I'm gonna link Gina DeLuca's um, video here because she, oh, Jesus. She, oh, well, there we go. So apparently this one was thinner. I didn't really need to put any. Oh, don't put this out. I hate wasting. Okay, so this one, I'm pouring it right in here. And it is perfect. Okay. Always test your consistencies right before you pour your paints. Where it could be very, very sad. You know, this one's thicker, and this is a gouache. Gouaches are usually pretty thin paints, but gouaches have been good to mix as cell activators, and this is a little thick. It's on the thick side. So, just a couple of drops of water in at a time. Mix it up. All right, so I'm gonna do a dump and swirl. <laughs> it's becoming my new favorite. <laughs> Oh, I, I just, I can't get enough of this stuff. Oh, I forgot, there's one more. One more paint. This is the, um, oh, I love this color. Oh, Amsterdam green, greenish blue. Everybody loves this color. Uh, yep, that's right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna just dump these on one at a time and then swirl them around and then move really quickly. I remember my first painting I did, I had to do it really quickly or that's just from inexperience. So Oh, that looks like it was thick. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Talk about move. Yeah, see when you dump it like that, it just kind of gives it some, which I don't know if I'm gonna keep those um, cells that, that came up because they're gonna get wonky anyways. So just move the paint around. Oh, I see something. Got it. And that's what's unfortunate. Is that a bubble or is that? Oh, it was just a bubble, dang it. See, they're getting wonky already. That's because I had to stop. All right, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna put you on time lapse. And then I'm gonna get ready for another one.
Okay guys, so this one's developed quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna move it along because I have two others I wanna show you. The same thing. But it turned out really pretty. Now there's no, um, these are all opaque color, I think opaque colors. Um, there's no metallic colors in here at all. That's why I'm, I'm showing it to you this way. Sorry about the um, reflection from my lights here. But I'm gonna move on to the next thing we're gonna do tonight. This color right here I mixed up and it's um, Liquitex Basics in um, Lime. And I added some Modern Masters green apple to it and when I put it over top of the boom gel that's what happened so I'm not through working with the boom gel because things have worked out the more you, the more you practice the more you experiment the better it gets so this one I like what happened to it it looks like a flower it's so cool and that's with the enchantment. So I'm gonna keep that tile for sure. A lot of them I've already thrown into the sink. Oh, my sink is so full of art stuff. I've gotta clean it. It's like, I keep procrastinating on that. So like, I did got so much done yesterday because that, <laughs> that was sitting in front of me. I'm like, oh, I'll do this instead of that. So here, you, here's a good example of where you can see the rose gold really took to the cell as well, and the pure gold did not. And that was from Folk Art Metallics. So this one's gonna go in the sink. But I wanted to make sure that this green was really working. So I don't know if you saw when it, it was in time-lapse, I kind of, did a little one here and then I noticed that's why it's good to do practice tiles guys I noticed that this um, brown was a little bit it, it wasn't selling up that much because it was too thick so I added a little bit more water to it and there we go and the next thing we are going to do just oh I'm so excited about all this stuff I spent all afternoon testing things out for you guys to see if what works and what doesn't so this is what we got okay so here is the enchantment I'm gonna pour a decent amount you know what maybe we'll measure it okay this is one teaspoon one teaspoon there. that's a lot actually then we're gonna throw Aussie Floetrol in it. I haven't tried it with the American Floetrol yet. That's next. I'm just trying all sorts of things. So this is a teaspoon of Aussie Floetrol. And let's move that to two teaspoons. And we're going to wet the pigment with the Floetrol. and it, it dissolves it just you know those pickies are really good all right now to give it some body and for it to stand up to the white cloud mix because that's some powerful stuff I'm putting a dollop of the just a blueberry that's what we're it's, this is ultramarine violet light, and it's pretty close to that color. So I'm just, there's a little blueberry, maybe another one. There we go. And we're gonna mix this up. Sometimes if you, you get chunks like that, just press them up against the side and then they're easier to break down. <clears throat> Now, I'm going just for good measure to make sure I've got enough body. I'm going to add the Liquitex gloss medium. Anytime I'm using any metallics, I'm using the gloss medium. And for the um, for the cloud mix, I use the regular pour, pouring medium. 
just a little. Oh, I, sh I should have measured that. Sorry, sorry guys. So put that in there. Now, that is thin. It doesn't really need a whole lot more of anything. I, I should put a little bit more of this in. Paint, the pigments need something to stick to. And they don't stick to water and they don't stick to just Floetrol. So you have to have either a, a paint or a pouring, pouring medium that is considered also a binder. That looks good. Now we'll get, we'll get a tile out. Oops. It's <laughs> one on the floor now. Okay. So put this aside. Ideally, you want to let your paint set for a little bit before you work with them. I'm taking my this is my cloud mix I just mixed up today. It's a little on the thicker side. I mean, it's not too thick. It's actually, this is the exact recipe. This one, I think I added a little extra water and you can add water to them. I'm just trying to be as consistent as I can. See, it's still moving quite quickly. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm going to test the brown too to see if it's working. A little bit more. And that's how you mix a pigment. Now, not all pigments are the same. For some reason, they don't all work. So um, you got to test them out, guys. Um, I'm sorry. I wish I could give you more info about that. I should have torched this, but my mega torch here and uh, my other ones my other two little ones are acting up on me so now that brown is perfect I think the um, I could have probably put a, a drop or two of water in in the uh, enchantment sorry guys I live near the airport and I live near the beach. So we're going to let that one sit for a while too. Put that, push that off to the side. These are going into the um, popper. Yeah, it's starting to come up. Yeah, I needed to add that. Okay, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water. A couple of drops in here. Your paints have to be pretty fluid for this. Yeah, see that's mm, probably a drop of two more. I kind of like that English brown. Michael's had a sale on Modern Masters. I think it's over because you can't even see it on online anymore. Whoops. I use cat cans, old uh, cleaned out empty cat cans to hold my tiles. Recycle, recycle. Let's see if that looks any better. This isn't. This is going to be an ugly one because I keep moving it around. You have to kind of just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Ooh, that's kind of actually pretty interesting. See, it's reacting a little bit better now that I put the water in it. And you'll probably see some cells come up there. Cool. So that's done. I will be back after these commercial messages and we're gonna do another one. I'm back. All right, I'm gonna use up the rest of my other cloud mix. See how this is a little bit thinner, which is not bad. I mean, you can, if the thinner your cloud mix is, the bigger the cells or webbing is going to be, the more it's going to eat it up. I found that with a little bit thicker formula, that it doesn't eat up the paints as much 
course, the uh, satin enamels have something to do with that too. Oh, I guess Tammy Anderson has a recipe for satin enamels. I'm gonna link that in my um, description. I haven't tried it yet, because um, I've got a ton of satin enamels and I have more on the way, but it might be something to look into. Um, I just wanna test some colors right now. I'm, whoop, and there it is, whoop, there it is. And I know, corny. Um, <sighs> corny, Michelle. I think I've had too many monster drinks today. I'm on a roll. I think I stayed up way late, late last night. I watched uh, the Shelly Art um, live. And when I finished watching it, I realized I was watching the one from Christmas. <laughs> so I went, had to go back in. Man, I don't know what's going on with me lately. I'm, I have uh, usually have blonde hair of dark roots. Right now, it's, I, I guess I just did my, my roots. I'm all blonde right now. Not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So, I want to test out... <clears throat> this is a Mysterious... It's called... It was Mysterious. Uh, Gail Burstyn created a... Recipe for it. That will be in the description, too. Test out this um, mysterious. I have my own. Oh, this is really thick. All right, I'm going to put it into a smaller container to start out with. Kind of have my own. Um, but this isn't really mysterious. This is something. It's a look-alike, but I just uh, just started morphing the colors together. So this is a little on the thick side. Let me see here. I'm gonna do a dump and pour again. I'm gonna incorporate this green. Consistency is everything. There we go. It's pretty blue. I put a lot of Prussian blue in here. I actually started with, it was the um, Modern Masters in Glacier Blue. And then I just kept adding darker colors to it. And the brown. Yep, perfect. So I'm gonna do, yeah, do the same thing. Looks like my corner here isn't covered. The force of the paint going down also creates cells too. Uh, Melly D is the one who did the dump and swirl. I think maybe Elise did too. I'm not sure who did it first, but in any case, um, is that gonna be enough? I think so. I wanna see what colors I wanna use. I've got one more canvas too. Whoops, I need to torch that. I might put some more blue in here too because it does get eaten up. Oh, all right, that's enough. I don't like squigglies. Anybody who watches me knows I hate squigglies. So we'll see if those squigglies get eaten up. I'm gonna put you on time lapse and prepare for the next one. I don't know if the 
it's in frame or not. I can never tell because I'm <clears throat> just holding this up above. So this turned out a lot better than I thought. Now it's not going to dry well. I'll tell you that right now because I poured it over another canvas that was kind of bumpy, pocky, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, the, see, this is a great way to test out before you go bigger. Um, because I noticed that this brown needed more water. It had some cells, but not, not a lot. I added those and then I put some more water in it and that's what I ended up with. And that's what we want. So, whoops, sorry. So it's pretty cool. It's got some sparkle. The blue really got heating up. Let me see if there's any sparkle in there. Not a lot. Whoops, sorry. I like the the grain in here. So I'm going to do another piece and I want you guys to leave in the comments which one you think I should do as a large piece. Here comes the next one. This is a hot mess. I think this campus is going to see another day. I'm going to scrape it, but I learned a lot. Um, definitely put your darker colors on the bottom and the rose gold really took over. Maybe it's, I probably put too much on it, but the cell structures are very cool. They're really good. Um, they kind of look 3D almost. They look like little mountains. There's like a mountain. Um, yeah, I tried a lot of things with this, but it's just, I don't even like the palette. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go with the other palette for the big one. And yeah, I tried a lot of different things. <laughs> tried blowing it, putting more paint. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah. So it's a learning curve don't get frustrated and please when you're when you're doing your your paintings they take about 40 minutes to develop so what you see on the canvas when you first leave the room or sit there and watch it like I do it's not what it ends up morphing into so give it some time give it at least 40 minutes this one I mean I don't know so I can scrape it and it can make another day. Anyhow, ciao for now. Miss you already. Stay safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that like button.